In this uh, tutorial, we will be looking at uh, various mass transfer dimensionless correlations. And uh, the reason for this is that we want to determine the value of the mass transfer coefficient and from there the mass flux. Uh, so let's look at uh, different conditions. Uh, first, we will look at laminar flow over a flat plate. So the dimensionless correlation uh, that allows us to determine the mass transfer coefficient in this case is a Sherwood number and we are going to use X because it is a Sherwood number at a given location. Uh, so it is Km X times X divided by DAB equals 0 0.322 times a Reynolds number N R E for times L where L is the length of the plate raised to power 1 over 2 and then multiplied by the Schmidt number NSC raised to power 1 over 3. This uh, expression is good for uh, the Schmidt number being equal or greater than 0 0.6 and the Reynolds number less than 5 10 raised to power 5. Again, note that KMX, uh, so we use that little x in the uh, uh, subscript, is to identify that the mass transfer coefficient is at a fixed location. And the characteristic dimension, uh, x, uh, is the distance from the leading edge of the plate. If the flow is laminar over the entire length of the plate, then we can also write uh, NSHL, this is for Sherwood number now for the entire length of the plate, equals KML times L divided by DAB equals 0 0.664 times the Reynolds number for the entire plate, NREL raised to power 1 over 2, and Schmidt number, NSC, raised to power 1 over 3. Uh, this is good for Schmidt number greater than, again, 0 0.6. The characteristic dimension is now the total length of the plate, uh, which is L, and the KML is the average value of the mass transfer coefficient for the entire plate. Now, if we have a turbulent flow past a flat plate, and then for turbulent flow conditions, a Reynolds number is greater than 5 into 10 raised to power 5. Then the Sherwood number, uh, again at a given location x, equals KMX times x divided by DAB equals 0 0.0296 times the Reynolds number NRE x raised to power 4 over 5 times the Schmidt number NSC raised to power 1 over 3 and this is good for the Schmidt number greater than 0 0.6 but less than 3000. The characteristic dimension is the distance from the leading edge of the plate. Note that the characteristic dimension is uh, uh, the uppercase x and uh, KMX is the local coefficient. For average convective mass transfer coefficient, the Sherwood number, NSHL, equals KML times L divided by DAB, and that equals 0 0.036 times Reynolds number raised to power 0 0.8 times Schmidt number raised to power 0 0.33. Note that the characteristic dimension is the total length of Let's now look at laminar flow in a pipe. In this case, the dimensionless uh, correlation is uh, the Sherwood number, uh, NSHD, where D represents the uh, characteristic dimension for a pipe, which is the diameter. And that equals KMDC divided by DAB equals 1.86. And then in the parentheses, we have the Reynolds number, times Schmidt number divided by L over DC, where L is the length of the pipe, 
and dc the inside diameter of the pipe and that's raised to power 1 over 3 uh, and this is uh, good for a Reynolds number less than 10,000. If we have, on the other hand, turbulent flow in a pipe, uh, then the Sherwood number uh, equals 0 0.023 times Reynolds number raised to power 0 0.8 times Schmidt number raised to power 1 over 3 and this is for Reynolds number greater than 10,000 uh, for turbulent flow. Again note that DC is the inside diameter of the pipe. In many cases we are interested in mass transfer when there is a flow over a spherical object. For mass transfer from a freely falling liquid droplet the Sherwood number equals 2.0 plus 0 0.6 times Reynolds number raised to power 1 over 2 times the Schmidt number raised to power 1 over 3. And note that DC uh, is the characteristic dimension and that is the diameter of the spherical object. So these uh, correlations are again empirical correlations uh, but they help us to estimate the Sherwood number and then from Sherwood number we can find out the mass transfer coefficient and then mass transfer coefficient allows us to calculate the mass flux and this we will see in uh, some examples.